We finally got news on when we could pre-order Spider-Man and it's really exciting because I'm really ready for this game. If you're ready for this game like me, please go ahead and leave a comment down below on how ready you are. Put a thumbs up on a like for this video. But without further ado, let's get into the information. Question number one, when can you pre-order Marvel Spider-Man 2? Pre-orders for Marvel Spider-Man 2 opens on the 16th of June, 2023. From this day on, where you'll be able to pre-order the game in anticipation of its release later in the year. So confirmation states that the game is going to be released on October 20th. Probably they're going to have an early access beta. Hopefully they do. And they're going to have some perks with the pre-orders. We all know that this is a PlayStation exclusive, meaning Xbox or PC might not be able to get it. I don't know about PC, but Xbox definitely is not going to be getting this game. And saying that you'll be able to get the game from Amazon GameStop, Best Buy, Target, and many more, including the PlayStation Store. The next question is, what are the pre-order bonuses for Marvel Spider-Man 2? Now, let me just say, Spider-Man is the one game that adds a lot of content to its pre-order, which I fuck with heavy. Within all the pre-orders, you get early access to two in-game suits, each with three color variants. Early access to the web grabber gadget and three skill points. So basically, you're getting two suits with any pre-order and you get to change the color of the suits which is in the game and you get the web grabber gadget i don't know what that is yet but we will find out soon and i'm guessing in the game you're gonna have to buy skill points that's why they're giving you three skill points when you pre-order the game now on to the additions of the game like most games this year we have three editions we have the standard edition the deluxe edition and the collector's edition bro the prices for collector edition games is outrageous this fucking year but without further ado let's talk about the standard edition the standard edition is going to cost you 70 dollars and it comes with the skin that i was talking about in the beginning which you get with any pre-order another thing too you can get the physical and the digital copy if you want to the digital copy will be in the playstation store but for those who want the physical game you can get the physical from any other store. Now, when it comes to the digital edition, this one is going to be a PS Store exclusive edition. It includes a digital copy of the game. So this is gonna have the 10 unique suits for Peter and Miles, five each created by guest artists, two extra skill points, which is gonna be on top of the three extra skill points that comes with the extra content, additional photo mode frames and stickers, which is something new I feel like they're adding to the game. This version only costs $10 extra, which I think is worth it because you're getting content on top of another content, which is actually phenomenal. And it's only $10 more. So it's the best bang for your buck. Digital edition is going to be for those who are looking to get the skin and also just get extra skill points in there. I feel like people are going to be drawn more to the suits than the skill points. But as you progress through the games, the skill points are going to matter. Now we come to the collector's edition. This is $230. $230. This is outrageous, but it does come with some cool things. And I'm going to say what it is. In the collector's edition, we have the Steelbook display case, the 19 inch statue featuring the two Spider Man battling Venom, which looks absolutely vicious. But is it worth the $230 when I can buy this shit on Amazon? For $20. It's up to you guys who are willing to pay the $230 for everything that's included. But if you are a Spider-Man fan, you know you're going to pay that $230. That's the end of the additions. But if you haven't checked out my reaction to the Spider-Man trailer yet, you should go check that out. That trailer was crazy.